非斯自由黨喺啱啱過去嘅週末選出 Kevin Falcon 馮義幹成為新嘅黨領，而呢次黨領選舉經過五輪嘅計票，最終馮義幹以過半嘅得票率勝出。馮義幹今次卷土重來，係離開政壇十年後再度回歸。能唔能夠帶嚟新嘅氣象，定係被視自由黨需要由有經驗嘅人主導大局？喺今晚嘅政論中環，咁就得馮義幹親自分享再次投身政壇嘅理念嗎？馮義幹走馬上任黨領，開始重新安排黨內影子內閣，分別委派黨領選舉時嘅對手出任不同嘅議題評論員。由於馮義幹暫時未有議會議席，前黨領韋勤信已經表示將辭去温哥華。Kuchina 選區議席，以便讓馮義幹參加補選獲得省議員議席。馮義幹表示，期望重塑政黨形象。至於黨名是否改動，將由黨員決定。It'll take 18 months before I think we start to see that reflected in a in a real sense of momentum. But I'm prepared to do that work. I'm prepared to reach into every community, the Asian, the South Asian, the Caucasian, and bring people on board and make sure everyone understands this is the party. That is going to grow the economy. This is the party that's going to have better solutions around addictions, around rising crime rates, around housing affordability. He said, "BC Liberal Party will build on the relationship with the Asian community and focus on common issues." The party lost touch with the Chinese community、uh, over the last ten years, at least while I was out of power.、Um, and I want to make sure we re-establish that connection. Because we are much more aligned, our values are more aligned. We believe in safe streets, for example.、Um, we believe that the solution to the drug and and alcohol, the opioid overdose crisis isn't just about providing. 佢表示喺過去十二年，省政府公職期間完成多項嘅運輸基建，並對過去十年喺私營企業擔任管理層，自信有能力帶領卑斯省重建經濟。佢都批評卑斯新聞主黨執政五年多，只興建咗五千多個可負擔房屋單位，而且所創造嘅多數係公營部門工作，造成每年上百億元嘅薪津成本。This is not a recipe for long-term success in any economy, and this is the problem at the end of the day with the NDP. Every sector they're starting to hurt now. 不過，卑斯新聞主黨已經開始針對馮義幹進行負面宣傳，提醒選民佢喺卑斯自由黨執政時期曾經執行政策，包括增加醫療保費、徵收過橋費、增加汽車保費。十年人事幾翻身，馮義幹如何重整旗鼓更新卑斯自由黨？二零二四年嘅省選將會係第一個考驗。好啦，今日嘅政論中環就講到嚟呢度。